Biophysical Report, the newest addition to the BPS family, is open for infinite possibilities. The editor-in-chief, Jörg Enderlein, is here in studio with more now on what's trending. Pleasure to have you with us. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. So you've got with you the most recent issue. What can you tell us about what you're seeing as far as hot trends in the research that's being submitted? Yeah, I mean, our journal is, uh, as you said, the newest addition to the Biophysical Society journal family. Mm -hmm. But we are devoting mostly on advances and technical advances in methods and, um, and technology for biophysical research. So the newest, for example, the newest uh, um, issue here, which you see the, the cover, right. is devoted to, for example, studying the impact of light on the fluorescence microscopy, which is often underestimated. So it's a very important issue, but normally not so much uh, paid attention to. Okay. And this, uh, this publication, for example, is studying how, for example, light exposure is, is changing the behavior of cells and tissues, which is a very important topic for, for biophysics research. But in general, the biophysical reports is devoted to new, really advances in technology for biophysics. And I think this is some kind of niche, which is not so well covered by other journals at the moment. And this is an online publication? It's a purely online publication. It's good, open access, so it's fully accessible to, to all readers without any fee. And it is completely then financed by the, by the publication fee of the office. And it's a quarterly publication, but it's constantly being updated. Exactly. As an online journal, it's constantly updated, but we are then grouping the, the different contributions into four issues per year. Okay. And you're also very committed to rapid publication of research as it's exactly. submitted. Exactly. How quickly could someone expect their work to be published? Mm. Also <laughs> ideally, ideally, we ask rep reviewers to submit their, their reviews within seven days, which is, of course, often quite difficult. So that's the first stage we have to, to, to take, yeah, that wow. how, how fast the reviewers respond. Um, and then the second, the second, how to say, the stage is how fast and the revision is then uh, provided by the, by the authors. But um, besides that, I would say all the, in the intermediate steps are taken very, very quickly. So, for example, from my own experience as editor, um, I'm trying to really to process uh, new submissions the same day they come in. Wow. Um, and then also when the reviews come in directly to uh, transmit them to the office and also when the revision comes in to, to make a very quick decision so that we have a really, really short time. Uh, from, from submission to, to publication. That's incredible. I guess the benefits of an online publication, you get it immediately published. Exactly. That's amazing. What would your advice be to someone who might be considering submitting their work, but maybe is a little hesitant? Yeah, I mean, you know, the, our journal, I would say, has to focus on, on work, which is not yet uh, providing the big biophysical insight, but which is an, important for doing good biophysics research. So if you have any clever technical idea, which is not yet fully applied to some deep biophysical question, then we are the right journal to publish, because it can be useful for other researchers and to apply. So this is the idea of our journal. All right, open for infinite possibilities. Exactly. Thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate it. Thank you.